So one of the sets of questions that I've had from a number of participants in this course is what to do to resize various images. Uh, and typically this comes down to uh, situations where you're importing a new backdrop that you want on your stage and the image is too small. Let me set this up a little bit uh, before we get into the answering that specific question. You already know that if you're working with a sprite, for example, right now just this cat, and, and the cat isn't big enough for what you want, you can always use the set size to block and change it. And so, you know, I mean, I can make the cat 200% of what he is now and we get a much bigger cat. Uh, and I also, of course, make him smaller than this. If I want him 50%, that's not a problem. And so that's all relatively easy to do. But suppose you have a backdrop that you want to work with. If you look at the, the, the looks changes that you can make on the backdrops, you'll notice there's no sense of size here with changing, at least from code-wise, changing the size of a backdrop. And several people have wanted to do that. Let me just give you, again, the, the background for this. Uh, I have two, a couple of, of images here. Suppose I want to use this image I have of a sunset uh, as the backdrop to this program I'm making. If the, if the image is too large, it isn't a problem at all. Scratch will, will scale it down automatically. So if I come into, again, notice I, I move pretty fast there. I'm on the stage and I'm in the backdrops category. And if I click on this, you know, download uh, or upload from a file, if I use large, if it's too big, it's not a problem. It rescales it and it takes basically the image that I want and it, and it makes it fit. Uh, fortunately, my aspect ratio is right here, so it fits really well. And that's fine if this was really big. My original image was actually several thousand pixels. It was the, the image taken right off my camera. But suppose that instead of that, uh, I wanted to have, I, I, I had one that was much smaller. And so this is one you can see here as I hover over it that this is only a 360 by 270. And we know the stage is 480 across. And so that, that's going to be too small. And the problem is what happens when you import this. So if you import it from here, this small image, um, you'll see that it imports it. And it puts it in the upper left hand corner here, which is just not w very helpful. Um, because if anything, we'd want it centered. Now, of course, I could come into here, and, and many of you have already seen from an earlier uh, episode of this, that I can reset, uh, sometimes you can reset the center of a, of, of a sprite, but you can't do that with a stage, and so it's kind of messed up. And you say, well, what can I do with this? It's, it's all screwy, and, if you, and as you look at these paint tools, none of these paint tools actually make it bigger. You can come down here and, 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 and change this to like 200, but all you've really done is, is zoom in in on this screen. You aren't really changing the size here. And I have to admit, when I first uh, encountered this problem with a, with a student in this class, I said, I don't think there's much you can do. I think your only real option here is to take that small image, open it in a paint program, and then resize it so that it's 480 by 360, the dimensions that we want for that stage. But it turns out there is a way to do this. And this was shown to me by, by another participant in the course. And so I thought you might want to see this. Rather than using this as a way to import or upload from a backdrop, let me go back to the original background here, the white background. If you start with an all white background, you may notice that over here there's a button for importing an image. And if I import that image, I can import small. And that might look a little bit weird at first you say, well, why, why did that help me here? I mean, I imported a small image, but it's, but it's not the image that I actually want. Well, what it did though, let me kind of click on this and get it to, to save. What it did, you'll notice, is that when you go through that mode, it imports it, and it actually imports it centered. Now, that helps a little bit, because at least it's centered to begin with, rather than jammed in the upper left-hand corner, which didn't make any sense. But some buttons that I haven't shown you about in this course are these buttons, uh, these little icons up here at the top. There's an icon here for growing and shrinking. And you can use those in the paint editor to grow and shrink any image. And so we could do this with costumes, too. But what I want to do is actually use it to grow my image. So when I click on the grow, you'll notice that I get some some arrows here that so you expand out. And so I'm going to click somewhere on this image of the sunset. And it makes it bigger. And you'll notice not only did it make it bigger here, but it also made it bigger out here in my in my on the stage actually. And so I'm going to do it again because I didn't grow it quite enough. And so it takes a second to go. And there we go. We uh, with two grows, we managed to take that uh, that image, that backdrop 
image and grow it to the size. Now you don't have the, the, the ability to get precise control. Uh, that button works by a specified factor that only Scratch knows. I don't know if it's 10% or whatever. Uh, and in fact, it looks like I may have trimmed just a little bit off the edge here, but that's probably okay for what I want. So I was able to get my image full screen by using the import function of a backdrop importing over the top of an existing backdrop, so you have to have a clean backdrop to begin with, importing onto that backdrop, and then using the grow command to grow.